What's going on ladies and gentlemen? How's it going this morning? Just about 8 o'clock here Pacific Time. And it's David here. <sighs> Had a, a pretty interesting day yesterday. We went to, uh, what was it called? Lego Road Show. And didn't spend a single dollar. Well, on the way home, okay, so we bought some pretzels, which was insane. And it was at the mall, so it wasn't like, you know, street pretzels. So I was a little, it's a little crazy how much those pretzels are, though. I think I bought three pretzels. And I got a lemonade, and the two boys, Joey and Johnny, got a Sprite. And it cost eighteen ninety, basically twenty bucks. But the pretzels were like, I think three fifty a piece. And we're talking bread that's rolled and thrown into an oven. I was just shocked. Pretty crazy to me, anyway. But the Lego show was pretty neat. It was like scattered throughout the mall. Not the Legos, but the, the displays. They had like the Lincoln Memorial and the, some Philadelphia thing. Well, it looked like it anyway. It looked like the place that housed the, what's that, uh, Liberty Bell. I didn't, I'm not able to get too close to it, and I couldn't, you know, really see that well. But it was really cool. The boys were, really enjoyed it. Joey thought it was really neat. I didn't buy any Legos, which was cool. And then, earlier in the day though, my mom went to Value Village or Goodwill or one of them. And Value Village is, is basically a Savers. I think it's owned by the same, same company. Sorry, I'm drying my cup off. But she called me and she's, you know, hey, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? Check this. See what this is worth. And she asked me about a Lego set. And, you know, I know Lego sets are worth, you know, they're, they're, I always check them just to make sure. And, you know, you're never going to make, you know, hundreds of dollars off the Lego set, I thought. Well, this particular Lego set they wanted 250 bucks for. And I'm like, well, that's obviously a no. And I looked it up, and some sold for like a thousand. What? Obviously, it was taped shut, so I wasn't, you know, she wasn't gonna sit there and count 1,200 pieces of Legos to make sure they're all there and that stuff. But 250 bucks—that was just nuts to me. That's just too much of a risk. I mean, if it's a gold bar and they want a quarter of the value, okay. All day long. If they want half the value all day long. But with something like that, Legos, it's just like, how do you, I mean, first of all, I'm going to have to count 1,200 pieces or somebody's going to have to count 1,200 pieces. Make sure all the pieces are there. You know, yes, the minifigures are worth, you know, 30 bucks for this one, 70 bucks for this one, and all that kind of stuff. But how are you going to make money off that? You're going to spend hours doing it. And I know they're not concerned about how much money you're going to make. They're there to sell donated items. But 250 bucks for a Lego set, it just seems crazy to me. 
Anyways, she did get some cool stuff though. She got Joey's asleep next to my bed in a chair. I think he'll be going home this evening and then Gracie's going to come back, which is going to be kind of fun, I think, I hope. And who knows, he might want to stay. And if he does, I'll probably let him because by the time he goes home, you know, the kids will be here and it's not going to really be any time for me and Gracie to be together. So I'll wait till spring break or something. <laughs> Or winter break if that's coming soon but anyhow I was just wanting to come in here and wrap I was thinking earlier today I I need to I got something in the middle of my screen so I gotta see if I can get rid of it no weird I think I got rid of it. Yep. I almost got rid of it. Um, so, what was I going to say? Derp -a -derp. Oh, the reason I came in here today, and I wanted to talk today, was because I've been buying, it hasn't been a, a daily ordeal or even, you know, once every two week ordeal, but I've been buying lotto tickets, lottery tickets, and the scratchers I buy every once in a while when I go to the vending machines or when somebody goes to the vending machines for me to buy the paper tickets, but I think I've been spending about, if I had to guess, maybe I guess yesterday we spent 20 bucks on them. So I'll just say 20 bucks a week. You know, that's 100 bucks a month. It's crazy money for, you know. And I've won, I won a dollar, I won three dollars, I've won, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. And I know the odds are absolutely insane, but I can beat the odds, right? If I'm supposed to win it anyway, then I'll find a winning ticket out there, right? What was that one show The My Name is Earl found that $10,000 ticket? Or maybe he scratched it and somebody else found it and then it finally found him back, I think. Maybe I don't remember really, but... So that's uh, kind of an interesting thing. So I think I'm going to quit buying them. Maybe... Once every, once every couple weeks or something, I might buy a couple tickets, but <coughs> I want to start saving money. Not that I don't, you know, already save a little bit, but I don't save a lot. And... I don't know. Kind of weird. I've never been too responsible, but it's getting better, I think. You could teach a tar to never mind. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Gotta stop using that. People are getting offended. People have told me that my derp is not appropriate. Well, derp you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to not ever buy them again or anything. I'm just going to, I want to start concentrating on, you know, getting ready to buy a house and stuff like that. I don't have, it's not like, you know, next month or anything, but I'd like to do it in the next couple of years at least. So...
I'll say $17 a week. <coughs> That's kind of a, an inside joke with somebody. Maybe. They might know what it means. I don't know. I hope I'm being loud enough. I ordered from iTechDeals.com. I ordered two pairs, either two or three pairs, of Dr. Dre Beat earbuds. They're called Eurobeats or something like that. I ordered them maybe a week and a half ago. And I've ordered things from them before, and they immediately sent me a tracking number, like within a day or so. This time, they didn't send me a tracking number, and they haven't shown up yet. So, I'm not sure where I go from here. I, 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 I did email them, and they emailed me back, and they said, well, we're, we'll get in touch with our shipping department and see what's going on. And they'll contact you back shortly. So, I think I'll wait another day, and once that day's up, I'm just going to go ahead and do a chargeback, because this is not okay. Like, you don't get to wait five days and then tell me, oh, we'll reship it for you. No, if you messed it up, just ship it right away. Just And as a person who's been a reseller, that's, I know that's not retail. Retail, there's a lot lower margins and stuff like that, but it's something that you should always be prepared to do. You know, if we sent something and it didn't get there, then we'll refund them right away. Or, hey, we happen to have another one, we'll just send it to them. I mean, I think that's what I'd do. Maybe I would fight it. There was a couple instances where they wanted a refund and come to find out. Like the those hubcaps that I had, I've mentioned these in a previous video. The guy bought them and thought that he was going to be able to make a a ton of money off of them because I was selling them too cheap and they ran their course and they didn't sell for his price so he tried to return them back to us and at that point we're out the 10% for the eBay fee which is I think we sold them for 500 maybe more maybe a little more maybe a little less but there's you know 50 bucks and then you got we've, we're out 40 bucks for shipping the time we've spent on it and that kind of stuff anyhow I just you gotta be prepared to eat those losses and if you're making money off of it then sorry and if you're not go ahead and stop doing business Speaking of making money off of it, I gotta get to work. <laughs> I hate not having tons of money. Joey's here today, so I'm not gonna do a ton today, but I do need to do some work today. I've got stuff just stacked everywhere. I woke up at like, uh, it is 8.07, and every morning I text Ashley at 8.08, <laughs> and I've probably mentioned this before, Ashley's actually home from school today, for at least a little bit, she's not feeling well, but there's a song called Posse's on Broadway, by Sir Mix a lot. And in the song, he says, The 808 kick drum, make a girly get dumb. And every time it's 808 and I see it, I say it. So, not a huge fan of rap music, but, or hip hop, or whatever they call. 
There's a couple of artists I really like. There we go, 808 night. I'm sorry, I just... If I send it early or if I send it late, she'll make fun of me. She's like, Dad, you're so dumb. But anyhow, that's all I really want to talk about today, you know? I'm wasting money and stuff, so I was kind of thinking about that just now. And there's several things that I waste money on. I want to buy Avalon her birthday present, which is super expensive. I don't want to get Joey something. Gracie's birthday present was pretty expensive. Man. Halloween's coming up and all the kids are like, oh, we, I gotta get this and I gotta get this and I gotta get this. And I'm like, well, do it on your dime. Don't ask me for no money. <laughs> I might loan you some <laughs> with interest, though. They won't give, loan me free money, so I'm not going to loan you free money. <laughs> I'll loan it to you, but you're going to owe me 2%. <laughs> Got to pay the big. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And that's really all I've got. You guys smile more every day and make every day better. Go to bed. Better every day. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Have an amazing day.